agree about what's happened here. I mean, the blame game has begun. A lot of people yeah. want to blame Bobby Brown. A lot of people want to blame the music business. A lot of people want to blame everyone. What do you think? Well, it's all of the above and a whole lot more, but it boils down to you. Um, you know, uh, I was introduced to certain people and to certain opportunities to to use recreational drugs, and <clears throat> it, it boils down to whether I want to do it or not. And she was a strong-willed, strong-minded girl. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I can't say that it's all anybody's fault, but... Would she have gone down that, that route, do you think, without Bobby Brown in her life? Well, if it would without him, somebody else. If you want, if she wants to get high, if you want to get high, you're going to get high. And do you think she had that tendency anyway? I think that we all, as artists, because we're highly sensitive people, mm -hmm. um, and this machine around us this so-called music industry is such a demonic uh thing uh it's it sacrifices people's lives and and their their essences uh and at the drop of a dime I mean, how did you feel when you heard that sony i think it was in back in the uk had jacked the prices <laughs> up of whitney's album it reminds within, me within a, an hour or so of yeah, a dying yeah that reminds me of the time i had a manager once that said to me actually said to me, you know, you're worth more money dead than alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm just, by the grace of God, stand by here because I could have easily, easily, because of a lot of pressure from uh, the label I was with at the time, um, I went through a really, really rough time mm -hmm. um, where I didn't want to go outside, didn't want to be seen, didn't want to be around. I really didn't. Um, Let me ask you a specific question. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming.